Hello guys, uh, on today's session on this immunization series, uh, I'll be talking about human papilloma virus vaccination. Okay, so coming to the introduction as to the need of this vaccination, uh, as we all know, it protects us against the cervical carcinoma and the <coughs> minor things like warts and respiratory, current respiratory papillomatosis. Correct, so the burden of cervical cancer is quite huge, in correct. Well, let it be in our country or in the rest of the world so that is the need fine so as we already spoken about cervical cancer is second most common type of malignancy among women okay and this hpv dna has been extracted from around 99.7 percent of all the cervical carcinoma so most of the time hpv is the causative virus for responsible for cervical carcinoma so once there is exposure once there is exposure after 10 to 15 years carcinoma can develop it develops as carcinoma in situ and later on can develop into malignancy correct it can spread <coughs> incidence is as high as 15 per 1 lakh women Coming to Indian scenario as well, there are around 1 lakh cases reported yearly and around 60,000 death yearly taking place, correct? There is a huge burden in this society and huge mor by morbidity as well as mortality is being contributed by cervical cancer and this can be prevented by using the va vaccine, that is the need. And it is caused by HPV 16 and 18, it is a double standard DNA virus double-stranded DNA virus HPV 16 and 18 <coughs> so around 70 percent of all invasive carcinoma is caused by 16 and 18 so that is the reason why these two strains are being included okay so among 16 and 18 also type 16 has maximum oncogenic potential and it causes as already discussed cervical carcinoma in situ and cervical carcinoma HPV 6 and 11 are lower risk types. They are responsible for 90% of phenogenital walls and recurrent respiratory papillomatosis. And this is quite a difficult condition to treat as well. Fine. Now coming to the vaccine as such, what are the types of vaccine available? It is a subunit vaccine, okay, manufactured by recombinant DNA technology containing HPV L1 protein. Fine. So it contains the outer capsid protein goes by the name HPV L1 protein. Now types of <coughs> <coughs> coming to the vaccine that exist Gardasil which is HPV4 okay Sarvarix HPV2 it is bivalent and there is one more newly new vaccine that has come up called Gardasil 9 which is a contains nine strains which contains nine strains but this is not yet being approved in india okay this is not yet approved in india so we'll discuss about gardasil and cervarix now coming to the gardasil it is quadrivalent it contains 6 11 16 and 18 and but cervarix is bivalent and it covers only the on one with maximum oncogenic potential that is 16 and 18 <coughs> both of them content is the same subunit vaccine against HPV L1 protein okay there is 20 micrograms of HPV 6 and HPV 18 and there is 40 micrograms of HPV 11 and 16 coming to Cervarix since it contains only 16 and 18 40 micrograms of 16 and 20 micrograms of 18 dosage is 0.5 ml same for both root is intramuscular and coming to the efficacy it around <coughs> The burden of uh, it can prevent around 98 to 100 percent. Okay, there is 98 to 100 percent reduction. So HPV 16 and HPV 18, and there is good efficacy around 99 to 100 percent against genital warts as well. S and coming to bivalent vaccine, it is around 90 to 95 percent efficacy, and they also offer some amount of cross protection against other serotypes. Okay, so this is 46 percent when it comes to the quadrivalent vaccine and that is 36 percent when it comes to the bivalent vaccine and storage as we all know it is between 2 to 8 degree celsius now how do we go about giving this vaccine okay what is the practice the whole point of giving this vaccine is before the exposure so that we can prevent the disease from occurring before the exposure takes place 
that is why vaccine should be given before sexual contact or exposure so minimum age is 9 years the one that is recommended under iap is between 11 to 12 years this is the schedule now gardasil can be <coughs> is given at 0 2 and 6 months cervarix is given between 0 1 and 6 months okay gardasil quadrivalent as well as the 9 valent vaccine both are given between 0 2 and 6 months now what about catch up what if they have missed taking vaccine any women aged between 30 to 13 to 45 years can go ahead and take up the vaccine okay in we are mainly talking about the female gender because in male gender it has not yet been approved in india okay next coming to the side effects no serious side effects have been observed okay only few local side effects like low pain swelling and erythema and systemic side effects like fever has been observed fine that's it guys thank you